Hey, uh, I'm Kyle from the Dirty Nil. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about my drums while we're out here on the Idiot Victory Tour. My main kit here is uh, like an Amber Sparkle from YC Drums, which is a custom drum company uh, based in Kitchener, Ontario, uh, by my good friend Jordo Gautier. These are uh, they're maple shells, uh, eight ply, and then with the wrap. Jordan kind of approached me a long time ago and was like, can I build you drums? And I wasn't sure how to feel about it. So basically I just told him to make me what he thinks I should play. And he made uh, a very similar kit to this, but black, uh, black on black with like a black stripe uh, stained. And uh, it was great. And then for this, this album cycle, I got a different one and I wanted to do the sparkle wrap. Uh, so for these guys, uh, I have a 13 inch a uh, rack, a 14 inch floor, and a 22 inch kick drum. On the toms, I like to use Emperor Vintage Coated because they are thicker. I tend to hit pretty hard, so they last longer. And then I have a Power Stroke on the kick. And the Rezos, I don't change, really. So I think they're ambassadors. And next up, we have uh, Ludwig Superphonic. I have two of these. These are my favorite snare drum. Uh, I bought one, and then someone told me, he's like, you know, the only thing better than one Superphonic is two. So I got two. And uh, yeah, I love it. it. Treats me well. This is like a weighted. Uh, I don't know what it's from. Jordan put it on here, but it's like uh, we bought it at like a Bass Pro Shop. Uh, and you just stuff batteries in it as a weight. Because he likes to try like experimenting with things and trying different things. So, because I like my snare really tight, and he just puts that on a mute a little bit to get the ring out of it. And that's what it sounds like. And then on this, I use Coded Emperor controlled sounds again, just for durability mostly. Uh, Cause I also beat the shit out of this particularly. Uh, yeah, I hit really hard. Some people like to complain to me about it, especially with cymbals, and I don't care. Yeah, so for cymbals, I, I like to use Zildjian's as much as possible. So for, I usually use the new beat hi-hats, 14 inch. They're my favorite, they're pretty, you know, average. And they do the job for me. And then, I'm trying this one out. I don't know if I love it, love it, but it's the, a custom crash, 19 inch. I usually go for bigger ones. I might try 20 inch. Uh, and then my favorite ride is the 21 inch sweet ride. Though I would like to try the new 23. I just haven't seen one or tried to order one yet. Well, one, I have my DW5000 kick pedal that was actually a gift from uh, Adam Willard because he was like, you need a better kick pedal. Take this one. And I said, okay, thanks. That was a, a couple years ago when we toured with Against Me and Adam's the best, so. Hey Adam, thank you. Uh, and then these were also sold to me from a friend. They're DW stands, older DW stands. All these around. They're just, I find them to be the sturdiest hardware. I don't like when stuff falls over or falls apart. And sometimes things feel pretty flimsy. So these are very dependable for me. And I, I like it that way. And I have, I don't put the felts on top. Because these ones have like the, the very stiff, like rigid ones that kind of keep it. And I, I don't like when symbols don't move. It freaks some people out, but they never fall off, so it's all good. And then a fun thing, I just got this to try, because sometimes sitting in a van all day and playing drums, I get a lot of lower back problems, so I tried out this Carmichael Throne that uh, my friend found for me online and said, Did, were you looking for one of these? And I was like, yep, and it was a good deal. Uh, and it's great, and I actually have felt much better and more comfortable playing on them uh, every show. So. Endorses. Oh, and then sticks. Uh, I tooled around a lot of things for a while. Like I used to play two Bs, and then I found that uh, too much work to move around the kit with them. So my main go-to are the uh, Promark American Hickory Five Bs. I just find them to be the the most reliable for how I play and the most consistent, and they just feel the most comfortable in my hands. Uh, if you want to catch us on the road, you can check out our Instagram, our Twitter, or our Facebook for all. Tour updates, also the dirtynil.com slash shows has a full list of uh, tickets and where the shows will be. We have a new single, Idiot Victory, out now that you can check out, as well as uh, on a new 7-inch back with uh, Astro Ever After, and our 
deluxe edition of Master Volume, which is all available now as a bundle, I think through DynaloneRecords.com. And yeah, see you on the road, hopefully.